Forgive the noise, it's raining heavily outside. This is what I wrote. Dear Honorable Daryl Issa. I don't know if I pronounced his name correctly. My name is Jeff Haynes. I have been a citizen of California for most of my life. I am writing to you because you are a member of the Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of Government. It upsets me when I hear in the news that the FBI whistleblowers are being mocked as conspiracy theorists. That term, conspiracy theorist, is the CIA's favorite means of discrediting patriots who try to make the truth known. It is vitally important that your committee dig deeply into the crimes against humanity that are operating full force in the United States. Before I explain my personal experience with the weaponization of government, I must direct you to the current lawsuit, Targeted Justice Inc. versus FBI, DOJ, DHS, and others. And I give the uh, website. Targeted Justice Inc. is speaking on behalf of thousands upon thousands of Americans who are suffering under what criminal elements in our government are calling the program. Read the introduction to that lawsuit. It spells out the torture and murder of everyday citizens like myself. The criminals in the FBI, DHS, and other agencies are watchlisting Americans without due process, without notification, and without any means of being taken off the blacklist. 97% of the names in the TSDB, the Terrorist Screening Database, are innocent people with no ties to terrorism. This is McCarthyism all over again. Our names are shared with members of so-called law enforcement wherever we go. We can't move away from the harassment. Our fates are left to vigilantes, private security companies, local watch groups, and neighbors who have been recruited as informants. Surveillance, in quotation marks, of watch-listed Americans involves stalking, break-ins, theft, vandalism, computer hacking, doxing, and in some cases, rape. We the victims of the program are slandered in our communities. We lose our jobs, our homes, our families. Community-based agents stalk and harass us around the clock. Businesses are instructed to overcharge us, gaslight us. Doctors are coerced into giving us false medical diagnoses. Our mail gets stolen and tampered with. We are isolated, and when our bank accounts run dry, we are forced to live on the streets. While in isolation, we become the unwilling test subjects for military-grade weapons testing. Directed energy, see Havana syndrome, V2K, and remote neural monitoring. Microwave technology is not science fiction. It has been in use for 70 years, as research will prove. This next-gen technology requires human guinea pigs, which are selected from the TSDB. I am one of those unwilling test subjects. I am one, I am but one of innumerable victims of our government. It is not hyperbole when I say that our government is guilty of democide and the destruction of life has been going on for decades. On the terrorist watch list, we are listed as non-investigative subjects handling codes 3 and 4, silent hit. We are denied due process. We are denied the pursuit of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We are denied lawyers, not that many of us can afford them, we are being slow killed by a contactless means and when we complain to law enforcement we are called schizophrenic. We cannot find equal protection under the law. Your investigation of weaponized government has uncovered only the tip of the iceberg. The crimes you seek to expose go way beyond rigged elections and the January 6th riot. Right under your noses, thousands of Americans are being tortured for the purpose of money, research, and development, training for military personnel, and political leverage. Look into the cases of mass shooters such as Myron May, Esteban Santiago, and Stephen Marlowe. 
These innocent Americans were victims of the program who were pushed over the edge. Our ABC agencies instigate violence, then heroically, in quotation marks, come to the rescue. Our law enforcement agencies want to claim that predictive policing methods are valid and necessary, and they're more than happy to scare the public into passing more gun laws. We, the United States, have become an informant-based police state, and it won't be long before every single citizen gets targeted and placed under 24-7 surveillance. In truth, this has already happened thanks to the NSA. The program is about population control, and it has been, and it has been since the days of MKUltra and COINTELPRO. I urge you to seek out and interview Karen Milton Stewart, a retired 28-year veteran of the NSA. Seek out William Binney, another NSA whistleblower. Seek out ex-security specialist Brian Coffrin. Seek out Dr. Robert Duncan, formerly of DARPA, and Dr. John Hall, who wrote the book Guinea Pigs. These people have been working for many years to alert the public to what is going on, and they have been targeted because of their patriotic efforts. These American heroes are not conspiracy theorists. They tell the facts. All of it is real, and no one in Congress will answer our pleas. Karen Stewart herself wrote to every single member of Congress and was ignored. My life is nearing completion at the age of 50. Even if we put a stop to the human experimentation, I will be forever ruined. My greatest concern is for the future of America. We must end FISA 702. We must abolish the Patriot Act. We must defund the FBI. We must completely eliminate the CIA and DHS. These agencies do nothing to stop terrorism. They spread domestic terror. We must close down the 80-plus fusion centers that, the pollute, that pollute the nation. The issue I have dropped in your lap is the only issue that needs to be addressed in this country. I leave you with this thought. The Department of Homeland Security was designed by ex-Stasi leader Marcus Wolf and ex-KGB leader Yevgeny Primakov. That's a verifiable fact. Is it any wonder that the United States is no longer the land of the free? Okay, well, that, that's step one. Now I need to look up this guy's mailing address. if they give it. All right, so, because you never know with with the way my computer is hacked, you know, we live in a virtual world, who knows if that reached anybody. We don't. So you have to go to snail mail as well. And then you have to pick up a phone. So let's look this up, Daryl Issa. We have his Washington, D.C. office. 2108 Rayburn House Office Building, Washington, D.C., 20515, phone number 202-225-5672. Thank you for calling the Washington, D.C. Office of Congressman Daryl Issa, representing California, 38th Congressional District. Please listen closely to the following options. To leave a message on pending legislation or an issue of national importance, please press 1. If you are a resident of California's 48th Congressional District and need assistance with a federal agency, please press 2. If you would like to request a Washington, D.C. tour or to purchase a flag flown over the Capitol, please press 3. If you have a scheduling request, please submit your request in writing to the following email, isa.scheduling at mail.house.gov. For all other matters, please press 4. For additional information, please visit our website. Thank you for calling. Please leave your comment at the tone. I'm calling to leave a message for the Honorable Daryl Issa. There are many of us reaching out to the members of Congress to inform them of a highly illegal government program that is destroying the lives of thousands of Americans. The FBI maintains a terrorist watch list and innocent Americans are being thrown on that list with no due process, no notification, and no hope of ever being removed from the list. 97% of the names on this list belong to citizens who have no ties to terrorism. 
We are called non-investigative subjects in the terrorist screening database because we are not being investigated for anything. We're not criminals. This is McCarthyism all over again. Our names on the list generate funding for the Department of Homeland Security and their 80 plus fusion centers, none of which have been successful at stopping any planned acts of terrorism. Instead, non-investigative subjects are harassed around the clock by proxy. We are harassed by private security companies and neighborhood watch groups. Our own neighbors are recruited to work against us using the same techniques perfected by the German Stasi. In fact, our Department of Homeland Security was designed under the guidance of ex-Stasi leader Marcus Wolf and ex-KGB leader General Yevgeny Primkov. And I'm not okay with that. All of this is a long-term coordinated effort by the FBI and other government agencies to run the United States as an informant-based police state is destroying our country and the Bill of Rights is being ignored. There are two million names on the terrorist watch list all victims of this unconstitutional program. Please look into this matter. There's 10 seconds of recording time left. Thank you for your attention. Now, am I going to be the only one doing this? Is he going to just receive this one crackpot letter from me? I ask that you do the same. I am going to make this as easy as possible. I am going to provide a copy of the letter I just wrote. For those of you out there who are more astute than I am, you can write your own letter. You know, or you can use this one as a model, change the things you don't like, add the things you want uh, mentioned. And for those of you who take part in this campaign, I thank you.